Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Um, Scorpio, it is your turn. You are next. Um, I had started your reading a little while ago, and then I get a phone call from my stepsister that um, her husband had passed away. So I had to like immediately bracelets off, rings off, shoes on, in the car, down the road, had to go. But I finished what I start. And, um, her husband would, would want me to be sitting here reading cards right now and not, you know, um, being a sobbing mess. So, um, I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to call it a night and, and hopefully I'll be in a high enough vibration tomorrow to be able to continue and get to the end of the month with all the bonuses done and all the readings done for September. So, um... Brother Joe, this one's for you. All right. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too, Scorpio. You can check your Moon, Rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind, if you could hit the um, subscribe button, notification bell if you're new. That would be pretty awesome. The like button. all It all helps the channel. It is all greatly appreciated. So, before I invoke the cards and throw them down, a uh, few things we got to go over. One... When I had initially started the reading, the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands both like stood up while I was shuffling, like stood up. So I pulled them out. We'll address that real quick. I think some of you have been working your asses off and it's going to pay off in a victory. That would be super awesome, right? Or you're pouring a bunch of attention into something or putting a bunch of work into something to get someone's attention. Either way, it resonates, you know. Take it if it is, if it's not yours, leave it alone. All right. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good practice. I don't recommend it. Um, by life-altering decision, I mean if it's going to completely fuck your universe up, if you make the wrong decision, um, don't trust a deck of cards, okay? Go inside and figure it out for yourself. I don't care whose cards they are. Mine or somebody else's. Two. If it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, if it's not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is not your message this time. We will try again next time. Uh, I got a moon and a high priestess reversed in the split, so... Could be some secrets. Maybe a little bit of egomaniacal behavior going on. Some things in the shadows. I don't know. We'll see if they come back out. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for their August bonus round reading. Any additional messages for August? I thank you for coming down and hanging out with me again tonight. I appreciate you. I am thankful and grateful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you give me the clarity to accurately give Scorpio the messages they need to put them in their highest possible spiritual path and bring them to their highest possible spiritual good. Scorpio, what are you doing here? Three of Cups. That's a card. It's a three. We all know how I feel about threes. If you're new here, I hate threes. If you've been coming around for a while, you know why I hate threes. I better not say any more. You're coming together. You're having a good time with friends. We're just going to call it that right now. Okay? You're in a high vibration. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's a bonus. Simple three card. Past, present, future. Trying to get it short and sweet and to the point. King of Pentacles in the past. Two of Swords in the present. Justice in the future. Justice only comes in when there has been an injustice. Okay. Can I get the energy of the person or situation Scorpio is dealing with, please, for this last part of August?
it's telling me one more. So we're going to go one more. These pentacles reversed. Hmm. Hmm. Ace Cups. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Justice. Two of Swords. Huh. Okay. Super weird, right? Alright. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. You guys haven't seen this one yet. I got this new deck the other day. Heaven and Earth Tarot. Freaking beautiful. I'm going to butcher names. Uh, Jack Sephiroth and Jamie Elford. Amazing deck. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It has this softness to it. And there's a lot of like grayscales and... It... It's dreary in a sunshiny sort of way for me, and it's got this really weird vibe, and I'm kind of weird, so I'm totally vibing with this deck. Not quite sure how the vibe works with my readings. I don't know how often I'm going to use it, but, you know, because I don't change things up when I'm in the middle of, like, a, a set, you know, a series, a season, if you will, <clears throat> I might use it for longer. I might just bust it out for special occasions. I don't know, but for now, we're going to use it. We're going to use it to clarify. Universe, source, spirit, and guides. Can I get clarity for Scorpio and the person or situation they are dealing with for the rest of August, please? Oh, who decided to fly out? We're going to put him back in. Queen of Swords reversed, Hangman reversed. Okay, I'm feeling like this may have something to do. Take it however it resonates. You know, if it's Scorpio or the Cross Watcher, take it. Whoever belongs to, take it. Somebody may have a little bit of a bad attitude, and somebody may be a little bit emotionally hung up. Again, take it however it resonates. Okay. We're going to put them back. See if they come back up. And this is the one we shuffle, cut, and let them fly, so they may. I don't know. cups here. Seven of cups reversed. Confusion. Unable to decide. There's only one three. But all of a sudden, this is screaming third party. With the unable to decide. I haven't been doing this. But I really want to know what's up with that King of Pentacles. I don't know if this is you or somebody you're dealing with or we're dealing with. Because we're going to address the past. Who's the King of Pentacles? reversed. Breakdown. It's your energy.
Okay, the Ten of Pentacles talks about it, it's the dream. It's the big brick house with the white picket fence and the two by five kids and the dog and the pool out back and the nice car in the driveway and it's sipping lemonade on a porch swing watching the grandkids play in the backyard when you're like in your 60s, okay? It, it's the dream card. Didn't work out. Mm. Didn't happen. Mm. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Three cups reversed. Okay, well, there's the second three. Fell apart. You disconnected. You might even have a hard time being friends with this person. I feel like this is a person. <clears throat> Two of cups, ten of wands. I feel like maybe this connection became a little bit burdensome. I'm leaving it at that. What's going on right now? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Tell me about this Two of Swords for Scorpio. For the now. Sorry, I haven't been looking in the rear view mirror first, but. Six of Swords. You haven't completely moved on from this. Judgment just happened to pop up at the bottom of the deck. It's card of resurrection. I'll see if it comes back out. I just happened to glance at it, so. Like you're moving on from it, but it's a process. You're still crossing the choppy waters. There's another three. Another reverse three. You know there's no foundation here. You know you can't work together as a team. I think you may have tried. But I don't think you've 100% let it go. I think you're still in the boat somewhere halfway across the lake or the river at this point. Waters are still a little bit choppy. Give me one more. Oh my gosh, I hate it when this happens. It's sideways. The bottom of the card is to my left. That means it's supposed to come out reversed. You're just trying to avoid conflict with this person at this point. Mm. You're avoiding conflict. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm going to leave it at that. Before we address anybody's future, we're coming back down here. What's this Ace of Pentacles reversed? Usually that's my house plan on the back porch card. And some people call it the dog house. I think somebody's, yeah. Six of wands reversed. Somebody's in the dog house. They're having a hard time getting your attention. Nine of Swords it landed sideways. The bottom of the card is at my left. That means it's supposed to come out in reverse. I'm not feeling like this is coming out of a state of not being able to sleep at night. I feel like they're kind of bat crap bonkers still. Maybe just a touch. Maybe just a touch. What's this Ace of Cups here? the past. What's this Ace of Cups? Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. So it was new, it was shiny, it was fun, it was different. Didn't quite take off. Didn't move forward. Maybe someone didn't recognize the other person's worth. Five of Pentacles reversed. Why the Five of Pentacles reversed? Two of Wands reversed. Somebody was stuck. They were stuck or they left you stuck. 
Maybe there was financial issues. I don't know. But somebody was stuck, like, at the crossroads of what do I do and where do I go? Something wasn't moving forward. It was stuck. It was new. It was shiny. It was fun in the beginning. But then it just kind of got stuck. All right. Here in the now. What's Six of Pentacles doing here? What are the Six of Pentacles? Lovers. Lovers. That's choice. They may have a choice. Maybe they want to be in your choice. Hangman Reverse came back out. Stuck. Emotional hang-ups. Up in the gallows. Six Pentacles reversed. It's like now they're ready to give where I don't think they were before and they're not getting anything in return. There's definitely a soulmate connection here. Full real. I got the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Hangman can also represent a soulmate connection. Being hung up on a soulmate. Four of cups reversed. Kind of feeling ignored. They're feeling ignored. It's like they're trying to hand you a cup. Maybe the same cup they tried to hand you before, and they want their cup acknowledged. Six of Wands reversed. They're, they're trying to get your attention, and you're just not. Scorpio, you're not paying attention. They're trying to get your attention. Why is justice here for Scorpio for the future? Why justice? Five of Swords reversed. Defeat. Six of Cups. The good old nostalgia card. It's a six. It's balance. It's things coming back into balance. Trying to remain friends, trying to stay balanced, but give me one more on this five sword reverse, please. Death reverse. Everything has changed. It, it, it's like it, it, it didn't evolve. And it's not going to. At least, at least, at least not on Scorpio's side. Scorpio, you may have Libra somewhere in your chart, or they may. Nothing has changed. Feelings haven't changed. The soulmate connection is there. The Six of Cups is also a soulmate card. This is you in the reverse. Nothing has changed. It, it didn't... It's not going to evolve. It's not going to metamorphosize into anything other than it is. And somebody's feeling the defeat. Justice reversed. It, you acknowledge the lack of balance in this connection, and you just want to maintain balance. You're trying to achieve balance. Fives are change. Death has changed. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And it's not going to. Super weird. Judgment. Making a final judgment call. And the sword of justice comes down. 
Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? They fell into my lap. I'm going to take them. Eight of Pentacles are upright. And then we'll try, and then we'll try, and then we'll try to no avail. They can't shake you. This is almost cute, Scorpio. They just can't shake you. They feel like, you know, they feel like you're a matched pair, but it's just, it's, you're not feeling it, Scorpio. You're not feeling it. And for some of you, maybe a little bit, you know, too little too late, but they're still very, you're still very much all energetically up in each other's shit. And this is the tower reversed. This is them trying to rebuild the tower. And I think they're going to continue to try to rebuild the tower, but eventually they will feel the defeat. You're just like, sorry, no next. And they're like, but, <laughs> and you're like, sorry, no next. Anything is going to resurrect out of this. It may be a friendship at some point, but I'm not, I'm not feeling love. Not unless major changes are made on somebody's part. Again, I'm not a finger pointer, but I'm not a sugar coater either. And I really hate being Betty Bad News, okay? So. Yeah, Emperor, eventually they're gonna just, eventually they will main, you know, regain control and Wow. Wow. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, there it's Earth sign Taurus for Capricorn. I got just about everybody on the board right now. Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. Anything is ringing a bell. Scorpio, I almost feel like you've tried to move on, but you just haven't quite gotten there. I don't think they've moved on at all. Not at all. We're just going to skip to the advice. That's not my deck. Is that my deck? That's my deck. Okay. Getting all kinds of confused now. Scorpio, ultimately, I think you need to stand up and do what's best for you and move forward at the pace you're comfortable with. Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands. Could be a fire sign involved in here somewhere. I don't know. You could have fire in their chart. Somebody may have fire in their chart. Got a whole lot of wands on this table, too. So, aggression, passion, sexual tension, energy. Okay. Page of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. Here's the Emperor again. Acknowledge this for the connection that it is, but main, you are in control of your choices. Don't let anybody push your buttons or pull your strings. You are con in control of your choices. And ultimately, that is your cup to give whoever you choose to give it to. If you do not choose this past person, so be it. Or this current person. It is yours to give whoever you choose to give it to. Because you are worthy of love. But if it is time to move on, it is time to move on. And build foundations where there will be victory. Okay? Ace of Swords, Hierophant. Wow! Got another Ace. That's awesome. Might be a new start. Could be with an air sign person. I won't swear to it. But I do have the Hierophant here. So. 
if the solid commitment is what you are looking for, that is the path that you need to go down. Okay. So I think your last reading had something to do with cups and sticks. Cups and sticks. I'm remembering cups and sticks for some reason. But you need to think that through with some swords. Know what I'm saying? Think it through. Queen of Swords. Honesty. Nothing more, nothing less. Complete honesty. Okay? And the fog will lift and you will see things clearly with the moon card in the reverse. All right. Getting tired. So, and it's been an extremely emotional evening. So, finish this up. Oh my goodness, really? That just happened. How embarrassing. I don't edit my videos, so. I mean, I gotta have collection for the blooper reel, right? Seven of Pentacles came out. I trust my ideas in my direction. You know what the Seven of Pentacles is? It's a card of divine timing. Scorpio, you're not on your timetable. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but you must be patient. Good things are coming to you. King of Pentacles came back out. I am sure of my place in the world. If some of you have a little bit unsure of things, I think you know more about yourself than you acknowledge. Be sure of your place. Cause you're the catch. I mean, the King of Pentacles is the ultimate catch and he is worthy of love. Absolutely. He, she, insert it whatever pronoun you want. One more for you. Knight of Wands. I make decisions without pressure. Remember what I said earlier about puppet strings? Don't let people pull your puppet strings. Don't let people pressure you into shit. Do what you want to do. Live your best life your way. And if people don't like it too damn bad. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you're good. King of Cups, I am my own anchor. Five of Swords, I will heal myself. Okay. I love you, Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio Venus, by the way, so... This isn't vibing with me at all. But that's okay! <laughs> it's not my reading. I love you. I will see you next time. Hopefully, before the 31st of August, I will have September's up. So, we'll see what happens. But take care, and I will catch you next time. And rest assured, there is always a next time.